It may be the zombie apocalypse, but the zombies aren't the only things you should be looking out for. Watch out for those human enemies as well in Walking Dead, Something to Fear. Hello and welcome to Tantrum House Studio Awesome. I'm Ryan. And I'm Katie. And today we're going to be taking a look at Walking Dead, Something to Fear by our buddies, the Funk Housers, Derek and Lizzie. And it was published by Skybound Games. Um, We have a copy, so let's go ahead and take a look. In Walking Dead, Something to Fear, each player will simultaneously choose a survivor to play from their hand. Players will then take turns based on the initiative order of their survivor. Each player will have the option of choosing an encounter card from the card showing in that round. The encounter cards can be zombies, human enemies, wounds, weapons, and supplies. Each of these encounter cards have different points that they give you or amounts that you collect. But watch out, some of the encounter cards will give you damage if you decide to take them. Other cards will damage the group at the end if they aren't taken first. A player will lose the game if they have more than 20 points of damage. The game ends when players have gone through the encounter deck. After that, each player counts their wounds to see if they survived, including any damage from the unchosen mob cards. Then the surviving player with the most points wins the game. So this game is a very light-hearted take, I guess, on the Walking Dead Um, and it's, I would say, very much a gateway game. Um, it's one of those that you can pull out and bring to game nights for people who might enjoy The Walking Dead but really aren't gamers. Um, but I also would say that it's pretty fun for people who have played games before. This is, um, maybe a light filler game. Um, it's like 20 to 45 minutes depending on how fast you manage to kill each other off. Um... As a gateway game, there's both a really easy version for people that are Mm -hmm. super new, and then there's a little bit of a more strategic version for people that are more accustomed to playing games this type. Um, There is definitely some strategy involved, and a little bit of take that as you can possibly give people negative points by taking away just the right card that they want. Uh, It is very simple, though, overall, and doesn't take very long to play, so I definitely recommend playing it. It's fun to play, and it's fun to look at. The the artwork in the game is just really great. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's got that comic style that The Walking Dead's known for, Uh, so it's fun, but uh, still very zombie-esque. Yes. So definitely check it out. All right, so that was The Walking Dead... Um, Something to Fear by Skybound Games. Um, Check this game out if you are interested either in The Walking Dead or a fun gateway game that you can play quickly. Um, Was that it? Nope. (laughs) (laughs) Only the survivors have what it takes to make it through the game.